What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSP for tutorial. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install a little mod that I found called Player Euphoria. Now what does Player Euphoria do? So Player Euphoria is a mod for your character, okay? And what it does is it puts some, a lot of realism in the game so when you get shot by a ped, it actually knocks you down to the ground. With that said guys and girls, click the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is going to be Player Euphoria. This is done. This is done by I am J Fry, who has been around the community for a very long time. So I am J Fry. Thank you for your time and contribution to the GTA Vibe Modding Community. Man, we surely do appreciate it, guys and girls. What you want to do, as you guys can see, it was recently updated in May. So it's very, very new. It's very new. Uh, go ahead and click download the file here and put this somewhere where you know how to get to it, guys. I do recommend your desktop. And let's locate our main game directory. Now, if you're playing on Steam, you're going to open up your file explorer. You're going to go to this PC. You're going to go to your C drive, program files. Then you're going to go to Steam, Steam apps, and common. Okay. If you are playing on, um, if you are playing on Epics, okay, you're going to go to the file explorer of this PC. You're going to select the hard drive in which you installed your GTA 5, okay? And then you're going to go to Epic Games, and your GTA 5 directory will be right here. Now, in your GTA 5 directory for Steam and Epics, this is what you need to do. There's going to be a few requirements that you need to run this mod, okay? A few requirements you need to run this mod. All right, first and foremost, all right, I'm going to my Steam. Everyone is going to need a scripts folder, just like this right here, okay? Spell, spell it just like that, guys, all lowercase, S-C-R-I-P-T-S. -S. Now, the way you get a scripts folder is you go right over here in the, in the buffer zone, the white area. You right-click, click New, click Folder, and just simply name it Scripts, okay? Now, the other two requirements you're going to need is ScriptHookV and ScriptHookV.net. If you do not have those installed, I will link a couple of videos here in the top right corner, which if you're not skipping the video, you will hear this part. And But if you skip the video, you'll be the one coming back to the comment section saying, uh, well, why is my mod not working? Did you sound script V and the, and the other one that I told you to install? Nope. Well, then that means that you skipped in my video and you're not paying attention. So come out underneath your rock and pay attention. So this is what you do. You're going to click those links in the top right corner of my screen. It's going to be long black rectangular boxes. And it'll just tell you install ScriptHookV here or install ScriptHookV.net here. Click those links and you will see my other videos pop up. Go to those videos and install those requirements. Once you get them done, come back to the video, okay? Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Epic Games do the same thing. Create your scripts folder right here by right clicking, clicking new, clicking folder, and just simply name it scripts. Once you've got that done, I'm going to do this on the directory of steam once you've got it done guys and girls you want to open up your scripts folder okay you want to open up your scripts folder and you want to open up your player euphoria winrar okay and once this opens up you're going to see two files and that is the two files and the only the two files that you need you want to highlight those two files and you want to pull them into your scripts folder and you want to drop them in just like that okay we're going to close out of that and we're going to get rid of that shortcut. And then we are now going to open up the player Euphoria settings right here. All right. Now, if you open this up, you're going to see some stuff here. This one right here, I like to change. It says prevent ragdoll with armor. What's that? What this means is if you have armor on and you get shot, you will not fall, which means you will not fall until your armor is taken all the way down. So I like to change this to false. Okay. Because I, I like the realism of it, and a vest is not always going to prevent a police officer from being knocked down. As a matter of fact, a lot of cops that get shot in the vest get knocked down from the impact of the bullet, okay? So you might want to set the defaults. Everything else is good to go. You can change these if you want. Uh, with that said, guys, go ahead and click File and click Save. Close out of that. Go back to your main game directory. And I will see you all inside of LSPDFR. And you see me sitting here, man. Move. Quit screaming. Ah! Ah! Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Damn it. All right, guys. So this is how the mod works. So what's going to happen is you guys can see I'm armored up almost fully, but uh, I've been yogged up and shooting around a little bit. Anyway, this is how the mod works, guys. So I'm going to walk out here. When I get shot, it's going to knock me down. You're going to see here. Come on, shoot your gun, man. 
go. There it is, guys. There's the player you're for you right there. Now, this, if you guys are not the type of player to stay in cover, this will teach you how to stay in cover real fast. And it'll, it'll train you on how to stay in cover because of how accurate the mod is. Right? See that? <clears throat> I better heal before I die. There we go, there we go, there we go. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much how the mod works. There's not much else to it. Just it, it's adds more realism to the game. And when you get shot, these guys are horrible at shooting. Right, there it is, guys. And it gives you that euphoria fall, so it's, it's more of a realistic... Um, shots fired, shots fired. So it's more of a realistic fall, guys. Um, this guy had over here. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Go subscribe and smash that like button for me. Click that bell, click on some content or live streams. Until next time, error. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. Dispatch, where's my backup? Ooh, seeing you got to be quick on the draw, man.